Welcome back to Cape Chronicle. I'm Mike Rennick. Local SEMO graduate Bennett Turner is known to many by his intriguing method of playing bass and has been keeping busy in the community. Here to share some of his escapades is the man himself, Bennett. Welcome, Bennett. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much. The man, the man himself. We really put that on the tee for you, didn't we? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm very honored. To you, be... Now, you used to work on this show, right? I did. I did. Yeah. yeah. So... Um, I used to work for the city. I got a degree in mass media, but, you know, just love music. So, and that's what we're here to talk about today. That is yeah. that ex exactly right. We got a fun show. Um, so, you recently graduated from SEMA. When, when, when did you graduate? Uh, the, uh, oh, it's been about two years now. Okay. Uh, graduated a... Uh, uh, fall of 2022. So. Okay. All right. And staying busy now with music, though. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you know, in the in the outline there at the beginning, we talked about your uh, intriguing bass style. But I hear that, or you actually said earlier, like bass was not the first thing that you started playing. No, no, no. I um, started off as a drummer. Uh, funny story with that is, um, so, flashback to when I was six years old, right? Okay, um, I'm I, there. Okay. <laughs> um, same hair, but just I was shorter. Okay. Um, <laughs> no, but um, I have a twin brother, and uh, for his birthday, he wanted nothing more than a drum set, and he would not stop complaining about it. He wanted a drum set, and he didn't want a kid drum set. He knew the difference. He wanted like a real deal, yeah. big boy drum set. Yeah, a big so, pearl drum kit or something like yeah. that? Well, not that fancy, okay. but yes, All right. yeah. All right. um, and so his birthday comes around, he gets the drum set, he plays it for one day, and he's like, ah, I don't like it. And I've been playing it ever since. Right? Really? <laughs> yeah. So I still started, have it. I do. I do. It is beat up. <laughs> but um, no, yeah, I've uh, played drums ever since I was six. I went through the high school system, um, you know, in band, but with doing percussion. Um, okay. I didn't really pick up bass till my senior year of high school. Right. Um, I was uh, in the jazz class that they had there um, because all my friends were in it and all my friends were drummers. Right. Where, and high school was where? Uh, Perryville High School. Okay. Yep. In Perryville, Missouri. That's okay. where. Born and raised, living there still, making right. a drive. Okay. Yep, love me some I-55, <laughs> one straight road the whole time. No, but um, so all my friends were drummers in this jazz band, right? So we had like one trumpet player, two saxophone players, a trombone player, and six drummers. And that doesn't really work out, right? Sure, You yeah. know, you can only give so many people a shaker. And so um, they had a bass player, but he was also a drummer. And he was like, I don't want to play, play bass anymore. I quit. And so I picked up the bass. And... Um, the only bass I had was right-handed. I'm left-handed, so I just picked it up, started playing it the wrong way. My teacher said, stop. I said, no, and I'm still playing it like that to this day. So you picked it up upside down. Yep, it's a right-handed bass guitar okay. flipped upside down, so all the strings are backwards, where you'd have the low string on the bottom. Yep. It's on the top for me. So okay. Completely so different. was it was it hard to pick it up that way, or was it just like normal? It felt natural. I got used to it pretty quick, yeah. I mean, because I was too cheap to buy a left-handed bass. <laughs> And you still play that way, obviously. I do. I do. And so, as you today, uh, who are groups that you play with, and 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 you know when you're out and about? Yeah. Uh, who so, you, who uh, are you playing with? Um, I have the uh, honor to play with uh, Felipe Brito, who is the current um, jazz professor at SEMO. Um, he teaches trombone and also is in charge of the jazz program. Um, he's from Brazil, super talented, and uh, I've been playing with him for the last few months, and it's been absolutely amazing. Um, he just released an album. Um, it's called Don't Put Off Till Tomorrow, and it is just straight samba jazz, super out of my element. It's been a real nice challenge. It's been a lot of fun. So, yeah. Nice. Uh, who else? Who else you play oh, with? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess I should keep talking about yeah. that. Let's hear Let's see the yeah, other groups. Yeah. Um, sometimes I play with Jerry Ford, who is a local legend here, a yep. fantastic trumpet player. You know, he, um, uh, you know, when he was young, he did gigs with Louis Armstrong, right? Like, just a absolutely fantastic guy and he's just keeping the jazz tradition alive it's the only big band in between here in tennessee right or in between st louis and tennessee um yeah and so it's just an honor to play with him and he just has just such a an amazing arsenal of fantastic seasoned veteran players so um you play I, some metal i hear <laughs> i'm about to yeah yeah um this saturday um there is a rocktoberfest in perryville and i'm filling in i'm playing with my good friend kirby ray um Super fun guy, and so I'm gonna, you know, have the hair down, be rocking it. You know, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> there you go. So it's like a wide spectrum of music for you. I mean, is that kind of as you were growing up? I mean, have you kind of liked a little bit of everything, or have you kind of leaned towards one style? Oh well, um, well, my main style these days is jazz. Um, you know, growing up, I was a rocker. I like my rock music. I had a punk phase, all that type of thing. Mm -hmm. But you know, once I started playing jazz, I started, you know, gravitating towards, uh, you know. Well, once I started playing bass, I started gravitating toward like jazz and funk because it's a more 
bass-centered, um, you know, those are most, more bass-centered genres of music. And uh, I just really just love the, the bass's role in music. It's really just the glue that holds everything together. And yeah. I just love the feeling of just locking in with the rhythm section. And so, yeah, I think it's because I started playing bass is that I just really gotten this affinity for jazz music and funk music. So that's usually what I do. Um, sometimes I play with a group uh, that, you know, we do like soft rock type of thing. Uh, their name is uh, Landon and Lindsay, and they uh, they were here for a while, but they're up in St. Louis now. So, okay. yeah, sometimes I travel up there not often, but, you know, um, so definitely a wide variety, but I'd say jazz is my home. I think sure. you mentioned, too, before we started, you did jump on the drums recently to, <laughs> to play a gig, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, that was funny. Um, so I, I do have my own jazz trio. Um, we're called Let's be clear, and that's a uh, L for Luther, Gavin Luther, B for Bennett, and then C for Clayton, and we're just you know three people in the area. We graduated together. Okay. Uh, yeah, um, but the drummer wasn't able to make it, and so I contacted like seven different drummers. None of them were available, and so I hopped on, and it was okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. It was fun for sure. Do you write your own music? No, no, uh, not yet. Something you'd yeah. like to do? Or? Yeah. Oh, absolutely for okay. sure. Yeah, I definitely see myself doing that in the future. But right now, I just. My favorite thing about music is just the communication, right? You know, it's kind of cliche to say that music is like a, a language, right? But it, it's my favorite thing to just be on the bandstand with people and just, you know, playing off of what other people are doing and just locking in. It's just, I love that connection. I was going to ask you, you know, what it is about music. Do you, do you remember, like, at a point early on when you either were, you know, at a concert or you heard something, you're like, ah, oh, this, is, this is for me. I think it was like my first gig that I ever did. Um, it was for Old Town Cape way back in 2019. It was for free, which is great because, you know, at that point, like, I, <laughs> I was not good enough to be paid, right? You know, <laughs> I, I, it was an honor for me to be there. Um, and I was just playing bass, but it was just, uh, that was really my first time just in that environment. And, you know, it could be stressful and, you know, I can get nervous leading up to it, but just the feeling of just being with people that I like, you know, and sure. just making music that I love, you know, is just such a good feeling. You know? Now, you're, bu you're busy playing, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, wh what about, do you still get, get time to practice? So you, do, you, do you play a lot just on your own whenever there is downtime? That is a good question. <laughs> you know, um, uh, I used to, you know, I, when I was a SEMO, I practiced a lot more. I, I still try to make time to practice at least like a couple times a week, but I do play... Um, for a uh, gospel church here in town, Greater Dimension Ministries, and uh, that keeps me busy. You know, we practice on Thursdays, play play on Sunday, and that has been absolutely fun. Playing gospel music is is another just another genre that I, it's alien to me, right? Uh, but it's so much fun and super rewarding too. You know. Well, I love the enthusiasm. It uh, obviously by today's conversation, you love what you do. Oh my goodness! Yeah. You have, you have a passion for it, and uh, we appreciate you sharing it with the community because you, you want to be able to share that. Thank you. I'm happy to be here, and I know there's other people who are, you know, more in the community than I am. But I'm just happy to be here. You know. <laughs> We're happy to have you, Bennett. Thank you. <laughs> Coming up next, Scout Hall founder Jeff Rawson. Stay tuned.